10 years now. Um, and I think that I'm blessed because when you find somebody that pushes you beyond your own self expectations, mm -hmm. that's rare. Yeah. And so when I'm tired, he's there to be like, no, you can't be tired. Yeah. Or I'm gonna push you, baby, or yeah. I'll make sure that it gets done. Yeah. And I think that that's rare, and I think that that's you know, the, the, the one thing that I'm blessed to have. Awesome. What's your goal for Baltimore within the next five or 10 years? What do you see happening there and developing that's different and going to be exciting and new for the people there? So I'm really excited right now. I know that right now we're experiencing an increase in youth violence in Baltimore, um, and we're in the midst of change. So it feels uncomfortable. It feels really, really uncomfortable, but I am so optimistic. I feel like Baltimore has a really sort of unique um, opportunity to be a model for the rest of the country. When it talks about, when we talk about criminal justice reform, like I talked about the, the importance of these local elections. When it comes to, you know, criminal justice reform, immigration reform, you know, healthcare reform, all of that is going to come on a local level. And it's happening in Baltimore right now as we speak. And so I'm very optimistic. I know that we're moving in the right direction. You know, the police department, it feels uncomfortable right now. But we are moving in the right direction. And so I'm, I'm very optimistic about what's going to happen in the next five years for Baltimore. We're going to be a model, I promise. Awesome. So I have one last question. Yeah. You're coming out of your office. You had a rough day. You're like, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> what are these kids going to eat when I get home? You know, I just, Nick might look at me and then I got to handle that thing. He go when they go to bed. <laughs> and then. Why is that funny? Because <laughs> that's how we be thinking on the way home. <laughs> I like upstairs, it. You get in your car, you put your briefcase on the seat. <laughs> Close the door, take a little deep breath, plug in the auxiliary cord into your phone. <laughs> what song are you rolling home to? What song am I? Right now... Because it's a music show, too, so we got to know what you be listening to. So right now, I'm really into um, Scissor. Love galore. Me when you know you got on. Yes, yes. Sister got She'll the lady like going that. I got crazy. Like, I got all churchy with it. She don't even sing it like that. Why are you bothering them? I love that song. So yeah, that's the most recent album that I've downloaded. Yeah, it's SZA and um, Love Galore. And the funny thing is, I like to listen to the words and understand what I'm singing about. And, mm -hmm. and Nick and I just recently pulled up the words and we're like, this that's song really don't don't make much sense. <laughs> I, it's, it's and I'm singing it, and my kids are singing it, but I'm like, oh. all right, is she now talking about a girl? I'm confused. But I still love her. I the like millennials, her. Like the <laughs> millennials, the millennials. They talk about lots of stuff. Hey, these days. Life. Somebody is somebody's hey, life, hey, and that's music. You sing about right. your life. That's right. And make it sound good. Hey, she does. She does. You know, yes. we're, we're so happy and so grateful that you came. Thank you. No, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Y'all give her a round of applause. First guest, Marilyn Mosby. That's right. Baltimore State Attorney. Y'all repping these local elections and act like y'all know.